Welcome to Home Cooking with Dad. For tonight's dinner, I'm making a chicken sandwich. It's a grilled chicken sandwich. And I'm going to start off with doing the bread itself. So let's get started making the bread. For today's recipe, I will be using a bread maker to knead the dough. Uh, I mean, traditionally, we would put the flour in here, then I'll put in the liquids, and then we would need to knead for at least about 10 minutes, and then let it rise. But honestly, it gets very tiring, and eventually you will stop doing making bread. So I would recommend that you get a bread maker, such as this. Um, this was given to me by an auntie as a gift, and Honestly, this has been a lifesaver because I use this almost every time I make a bread. For start, we need to start preparing all the liquids. So I've got some full cream milk here. I need about 375 milliliters of milk. I will put down the recipe in the description below. So this, that's the milk in room temperature. The next thing I need to put in is, these are half teaspoons measurement. I need to put one and a half teaspoon of butter. This is unsalted butter. So one, two, and three. So that's the fat. So this is normal table salt. I need to put one teaspoon of salt. I need to put in two tablespoons of sugar, the brown sugar. Give that a bit of a stir. So that is the wet ingredients. Now I'm going to start off with the dry ingredients. Let me put this aside. For the dry ingredients, I'm going to use 300 grams of bread flour, high protein bread flour, and another 300 grams of normal wheat flour. I've done this so many times that I don't even need to look at the recipe anymore. We will get about one kg of wet weight. That means that can do about 700, when it's, when it's cooked, you get about 750 gram bread. Okay, that's 600 grams. Since I am using milk, I will also be using baking powder to help it to rise. I will be using yeast, dry yeast, but this gives it the extra kick. You know, it becomes more fluffier. So I need to get about a teaspoon. The next ingredient will be, uh, this is a bread improvement. So it softens the bread as well as makes it a little more fluffier too. So this too goes about one teaspoon. Now for the spices, I've got cinnamon, freshly ground Sri Lankan cinnamon. So this goes in one teaspoon. I am making a savory bread, so, and I've got caraway seeds. So I'm going to put roughly, should be about a teaspoon, be about a pinch, not a teaspoon, because you don't want it to be too much seeds in it. So I just got that much. It gives a minty flavor. Then I have the Italian herbs. So this is about half teaspoon. Finally, I've got some garlic powder. This is all about half teaspoon or maybe a teaspoon. Yeah. Uh, yep, that should be okay. Hmm, that thunderstorm. So uh, traditionally, if you're going to start uh, without the machine, then you need to make a well, put in your liquids, start kneading it for at least about 10 minutes until it becomes uh, non-sticky to your hands. And for the final ingredient, we'll need yeast, dry yeast. So we need about one and a half teaspoon of dry yeast. Do I get? So this is roughly about a teaspoon. And then we need another half. Oops, okay, that should be done. So just mix that in. And now, we just need to turn on the machine and let the machine do all the work. So 
So while the bread is being kneaded and made, I'm going to now marinate the chicken. So I've got some skinless uh, chicken breast. However, you can notice that this is thick and this is thin. So it's going to cook unevenly. So what you need to do is you need to actually butterfly them. So I'm going to cut halfway through. such okay so this way they tend to cook a little bit more even so I'll do that for all the pieces thick side so we've got that now I'm going to use some chipotle sauce chipotle oh, I can't pronounce it okay get some sauce wrap that in Okay, so we're done with this side now. I'm going to flip them here. Put some garlic powder. Pepper. Salt. And then wrap that in. You don't even worry much about the salt there because later when you do the burger, you'll be putting sauces on it. Okay, so I'm going to keep this in the fridge for at least about an hour before we start uh, drilling them. So now the dough has doubled its size. So now we need to go for the next step that is to shape it into a loaves of bread. So it can stick. Oops. So we're gonna split that into half. And make two loaves. Okay, you need to scroll the knives, cut them like that. So with the damp cloth, wrap it up. So I'm going to let it rest for another 45 minutes. And then we'll see, it should double again, it should uh, increase again in volume before we bake it. So now we have the bread. I'm gonna do. I've got some egg wash. I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic. Some parmesan cheese. Some Italian herbs. I'm going to start that in the oven. I've set the oven to about 190. So we need about like 15 to 20 minutes. So of course the chicken, I've been, I let it sit out for a few minutes. So it's been about an hour 
in the fridge and about 20 20 minutes outside so now i'm going to actually grill the chicken uh, but you can actually use your frying pan or you can put it into an oven but i'm doing this just because it's easier for me Crunchy on the outside, there's a softness here. So now that you need to let the bread cool for about at least about 10-20 minutes before you slice it in and start putting your sandwich filling inside. Now, another tip I have to tell you is that the aluminium foil, I should have taken out the aluminium foil and then put it in the oven because when I tried taking out the aluminium foil, some of it peeled off here. Okay, but I guess yeah, we'll learn. This time I won't put in the aluminum foil. I normally don't put in the aluminum foil, uh, but this time I found it difficult to take it out. Let's put some cheese. Let's make some cheese here. And then you get the chicken. And I'm going to put this back in the oven. So we just pop it in back in the oven. The idea is just to melt the cheese. So the cheese is melted. Oh my, it's hot. So now we just put whatever toppings you want. So I'm going to put some lettuce. Some fresh tomatoes. So I've got some pickles. So just to whatever toppings you want. I'm going to put some pickles, some um, jalapeno chilies, peppers, and, okay. and my favorite is going to be some olives. I'm going to put some Tabasco's. Mm. 